You ready for a death meditation in the mood? Okay, so we're gonna do this one, and I, most of you have done it before, and I'm gonna try and do it in a way that's really incorporating the five powers. So you don't have to write anything down or remember anything, just kind of follow me, and then if later you want to write it down, it's all just there, and you'll be able to see it online anyway. So just try and be with the process as best you can. Get yourself a nice posture for meditating. And so start by setting your motivation. In order to make this life meaningful, in order to make death meaningful, in order to have a meaningful series of lifetimes, from happiness to happiness, all the way to full enlightenment, I'm meditating on the stages of death. And so picture that it is your best version of how you want to die, in the kind of bed you want to die in, at the age you want to die at. Picture that that's the case. Imagine that you've told all of your family and all of your friends how much you care about them, how much you've enjoyed your relationship with them, how much you love them, that those conversations have been had. Imagine that you've forgiven everyone you need to forgive and asked forgiveness of everyone you need to ask. And imagine that you've dealt with all of your worldly belongings, that the things you want to go to family members and friends have already been organized, that the different charities you want to support has already been organized. And you feel real relief not to be burdened by your possessions, but that they'll go on to benefit others. So imagine you're already at that point, the best case scenario. And as you lie in this bed, your body is weak and you know that death is coming and you feel a heaviness. Your arms and legs, very difficult to move. Very little strength. And you observe this, but know it is just the body. that you are not the body. And internally you have a vision of a mirage, shimmering, dreamlike projection.
And as you see this mirage, you're reminded that this is a sign that death is coming. And you think about your spiritual refuge. Imagine that it's supporting you, guiding you through this process. Even if your refuge is simply your inner wisdom, engage with that. And think, may whatever comes next, whatever form I take or don't take, may I continue my path, may there be benefit to others. So you see the mirage and remember altruism and remember your refuge. And the vision changes to billowing smoke. And your physical experience is dryness, difficult for your kidneys to function, for your tears and saliva to function. And part of you notices it's a bit uncomfortable and scratchy but you remember this is just a sign of death, that the water element is no longer able to support consciousness. And you reconnect with refuge and reconnect with altruism. Seeing this billowing smoke And then you see fire sparks as if against a black sky, like someone stirred up a campfire. And your body is a bit cold. And the natural reaction is to be scared of feeling cold or worried about it. But you're reminded it's just a sign that fire is no longer able to support consciousness. It's just the body. And you remember refuge, and you remember bodhicitta. And then there is a vision of a weak red-blue flame, like a candle about to go out. And you find it difficult to breathe, but know it's, there is no need to be panicked, that the breath will stop, the heart will stop, but this is the body, not the mind. And when the breath and the heart stops, also pain will stop physically. And so you see the weak red-blue flame, and you remember refuge, and you remember bodhicitta.
And then comes a radiant vision of white. And your body is medically dead, but your consciousness is still there, free from pain. And you see this radiant whiteness, and you're reminded again of your path that the mind is getting more and more into its subtle state. That the opportunity to realize emptiness is there. And you reconnect with refuge in bodhicitta while seeing the radiant white light. And white changes into red, like an autumn sunset, warm and radiant. The mind becomes even more subtle. The old worries and fears are gone. The old attachments and aversions no longer distracting you. Many habits from the past are latent and ready to ripen, but right now there is just subtle mind. And imagine it carries refuge, carries bodhicitta. And red changes to black, as if you've become completely unconscious. But in that blackness, imagine is imbued with refuge in bodhicitta. And imbued with the awareness that the clear light is coming, the very most subtle mind will dawn. And the opportunity to experience non-duality the opportunity to see the emptiness of the mind. And black changes to clear light, like a cloudless autumn dawn, vast and spacious. And there is no sense of subject or object. You see it as empty of inherent existence. And your consciousness leaves the body on a very subtle wind, propelled by positive karma, it travels through the bardo. And in this intermediate state, you're aware of the thoughts and emotions of your friends and family around you. You're also aware of your own mental projections and visions, some peaceful, some scary. All sorts of appearances, but you remain steady with refuge in bodhicitta. And move towards through karma to ethical and kind parents. And as you enter into the womb of your new mother, the visions reverse. Clear light. And then black. And then red.
and then white. Flickering flame. Fire sparks. Billowing smoke. Mirage. And you begin to grow cell by cell in your mother's womb. And because of positive karma, imagine that you carry refuge in bodhicitta, all your positive habits, and the karma for a strong, healthy body. And through the effort we put into this meditation, may our life and death go in this way. May we continually move towards our fullest potential, enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. So you can relax your attention.